Good morning, second graders. How are we? I miss you guys. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to do a cursive big D and a cursive little D. You will need to get out your workbooks, page 56. Now I want to show it to you before we start. It's broken into two halves. On the top you have your capital D and then you have two lines of that and then two lines of your lowercase d. And then on the bottom, you actually have words that they're connecting. I'm going to show you how to write the first word and how to break it down a little bit um, so that you can start learning your words and putting word letters together to make the words. Um, but you don't have to do this part if you don't feel ready. OK, I want you to I want you to try it. I know you're probably scared. I know Olivia and Paul are like, what? <laughs> I don't like it. Cadence, I know you're probably ready because you like doing writing and you're, you're really good at it, okay? Um, that's up to you, but I want you to at least try it, okay? Try the first word and if you're like, oh, I'm not ready for this, that's okay. You're still learning. So follow me up here to my board. I want you to watch for a minute. I'm going to show you how to do a big D and a little D um, and then you can try them on your worksheet with me, okay? So you're going to start at this top line up here, your top guideline. Remember, if you are right-handed, your paper should be turned which way? On your desk, when you're looking down? To the left. If you're left-handed, Olivia, you're gonna turn it to the right a little bit. You don't have to do it like this, but you wanna tilt it just a little bit to keep them in line, however you're, depending on what hand you're writing with. So you're gonna start at this top line, Okay, now I wanna show you before I do this, this was our, your D that you learned and it's actually on your paper. One line and you connect the dots and come around make that curve. That's your D. Now I'm gonna show you how to do a cursive D. Now this one's a little bit, just a little more fancy, that's all. Don't panic. So you're gonna start up here at your top line and you're gonna come down and right before, and I'm gonna teach you a little trick, right before you get to that bottom line, you're gonna change the line. So I'm gonna put a dot here, okay? And I'm doing this a little bit bigger just till you get the hang of it and then we'll make the, the movements a little bit smaller. So you're gonna come back to this dot, you're gonna come down, touch the line, loop it around and come back to that dot. So you're kinda of like connecting the dots, okay? Now some of you, I'm gonna show you two ways. This is the way you're supposed to do it, but it looks the same. You're gonna start at this dot, Come down, make that triangle, touch the bottom, come around, clear around. We're touching this line, meeting those lines there too. You're coming back around and touching the dotted line and then touching that first line that you drew. So I drew a dot up here because you're meeting this point, the top of this line, and this curve coming around, you're meeting at that dot. So the next D, we're gonna draw that dot. We're gonna draw that dot right up here and we're gonna draw a dot right down here and make them pretty big, okay? Because this might help you. So you're gonna start at the top first dot and you're gonna connect the dots, done. Draw through that dot, coming around, stopping back at the dot. This way, I'm gonna show you another way. If you wanna start back here at the dotted line and come up, stop at the dot, making that loop, and then all you have to do is that curve and come up. You're creating that triangle. Remember that triangle we learned when we did the big S's that I showed you we made that little triangle? You're kind of doing the same thing and connecting the dot. The only thing I noticed with Mrs. Connor is I didn't come up. I started at the dot, but then I forgot to touch the line. So let's try that again. I'm going to make my dots. And if that doesn't help you, you don't have to do it. We're going to start at the top dot, come down, stop. Start back here, loop around, come and stop at the dot. Going to come here, come to the dot, come all the way around. I don't really like that way. I like doing the other way better. But that's why I'm showing you two ways because, Paul, this way might be way easier for you. And Cadence, this way, just doing it normal might be better. Um, Olivia, you may not like either one. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just teasing you, but 
Um, I just, everybody learns different, so I want to show you two different ways. So if I like that other way better, where you start at the line, and I'm just going to do like one big fluid one. These ones look a little choppy, but that's because I'm taking them apart to show you how to do the letter, okay? So let's let's try and do one regular one without any dots, okay? You're gonna start at the top line, come down, right about the top of that, you're gonna start to curve it around, make that triangle touch, come all the way around, make that little, almost looks like a little moon shape there and you're gonna touch it, the dotted line again. So I'm gonna do one more with you. Okay. Pretty good. Whatever way works best for you. If you wanna create the dots so that you have a point to start and stop, that's totally fine. If you don't and don't like that, that's fine. If you wanna start up here, and come around like I showed you, that's fine. If you don't, go the other way. You pick, okay? As long as it looks like a D, I'm okay with that. Okay, now moving on to your little D. Here's your little regular D. This is Connor, you didn't touch the bottom line. And all we're doing is making this a little fancy. You're gonna start here like we did with our S and our little A and our little C. <clears throat> You're gonna start here and make that, kind of like that little line up. You're gonna retrace this line, touch the bottom, come up, and right where you started is where you're gonna meet that line. But this line, you're gonna, you're gonna meet that point, but then you're gonna keep coming clear to the top line. Then you're gonna retrace that line you just drew, come down, touch the bottom, and kind of start to curve it out. The reason you're starting to curve these letters out just a tiny bit is because when you start to do words, you're going to fluid move right into the next letter and come back down to stop. Then you're gonna pick up and go right into the next letter. And then before you know it, you're writing words. I know, it's scary, huh? <laughs> you can do it. So we're gonna start, do, do one with me here. Start at the bottom, come up to the dotted line, retrace, touch the bottom line, make that loop, meet that dot, Come up, touch the top line, retrace, come back down and make that little triangle. So on the little D you have these two little triangles down here is where your spacing should be, okay? Let's do a couple more. Together. It's definitely harder to do on a board. Okay, and the, the little D, I'm not gonna spend as much time on it, it's pretty easy, um, you've had similar, cause look, if you take this big one away, what do you have? You have a cursive letter A. Tricky, huh, pretty cool. Okay, now look at the bottom of your paper. You didn't have a lot of practice with your big S's, <clears throat> but you did do them. So you're gonna make a big S, come up around, loop it, make that boat. This is where we start to connect letters. So see how where I stopped with my S? Let me make sure, can you guys, okay, I was gonna adjust my camera and make sure it's there. You're gonna start at that bottom line and come right up into an A. And then you're gonna stop. Notice how I started to curve my A because I'm getting ready to go right into my little D that we just learned. So, and that's why you're cur doing your little curve line at the beginning too. So here's your A is gonna go right into a D. Curve, pick right up at that dot where the D ends and go right into an I. Stop, oops, I didn't touch the line, sorry and loop around and there's my E. Let's break that down a little bit more. So let's do your big S, make the boat, stop. We're gonna come in here and make the A. You're not touching the lines, just do the letters. Meaning I'm not connecting them, I'm just doing the letters I and the E. So they're separate. I'm gonna put this a little closer. 
Can you see that they're separate there? Okay. I know this is harder to do at home with the lighting and everything. Um, now you're going to come back and actually connect these. Connect, connect, connect. You might have a little leftover I do and that's okay. Okay. Just try the word if you don't want to, if you don't feel comfortable, don't do it, but try it. Okay, I'll see you guys again.